Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much. And please don't forget to hit the notifications bell so you will be notified of any of my recent uploads. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and being a part of my Style Chron family. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. This video is going to be about my top five must-have eyeshadow brushes. The five brushes I feel I need to have in order to complete any kind of eyeshadow look. My go-tos, my absolute favorite brushes. And this video is going to be dedicated to my friend Teresa. She's a high school friend and she recently reached out to me and asked what two brushes I felt I needed in order to complete an eyeshadow look. Um, and I messaged her back and told her these two very particularly. So the MAC 221 and the MAC 224. And when I started thinking about it, I realized I've never done a video just dedicated to my must-have brushes. I showed My first must-have brush is a flat shader of some sort. I've got a number of them here. The first is the E55 by Sigma. The 233 brush from MAC, which is Duo Fiber. And then this one, which is just a Tarte eyeshadow brush. Um, but it's a flat shader. And these are very important because you can use these to apply pigment all over to set your eye primer or to highlight or to pack on color uh, when you need it or apply glitters. You can use this for a number of different things. You can get on the inner corner with it if you need to. You can also use it to highlight down the center of your nose or your cupid's bow. So for me, this is an absolute must have. And I just have three different examples of the same brush here. And so I'm going to go ahead and dive into my soft glam palette using the shade Tempera right here and I'm just going to get that onto my Sigma E55 and like I said there's so many different versions of this brush and that is going to go all over my lid just to set the primer and create a even canvas for eyeshadow application. Okay, the next brush that is very important is a crease brush of some sort that will help you to create a crease if you're like me and have hooded lids, or if you have a crease and you just want to accentuate it, you just need something that will get right into your eye socket. Um, this is going to vary depending on your eye type. I have very small eyes, therefore I need a very small, precise brush. This is a MAC 221. It is so perfect for just precision crease work. There are different varying sizes amongst brands. This is a Morphe M441, which is a lot larger. As you can see, it would cover a lot, much larger surface area, which if you have large eyes or deep set eyes, this is a little bit better. Um, and then this is just a Tarte brush from the Unicorn, Unicorn collection, um, but it's just an example of another Kind of crease brush and then the MAC 234 which is a duo fiber also a really good blending brush I'm sorry I'm gonna go into burnt orange right here from the soft glam palette and I'm gonna get that on my brush and that's gonna go directly into my crease to help define it right in here and I use little kind of circular motions to get into that crease area and you're going to see my eyes start to kind of take shape when I do this because I don't have a crease. When I close my eye, my crease is like right, when I open my eye, my crease is right here. Um, so this is just flat lid and some people will have, you know, crease that's up here and a lot of lid to work with. So I kind of have to create that. I have to cheat and create a lid space for myself. Okay, and once you get your crease on and everything, you're gonna have this, which looks rather harsh. So my third brush that is an absolute must have is a MAC 224. I don't have this brush um, in any other line because this is my absolute favorite blending brush and blending is extremely, extremely important. So once you have your crease created, I like to go in with my blender brush and just diffuse the crease line that I have created. And I'll do this eye so you can see the difference. It just blends out so neatly, so precisely. I love this brush so much. It's fluffy, it's perfect um, for blending those edges and just making them smooth and look effortless. And blending is just so important. It's one of the most important factors of eyeshadow work just because it makes it look natural. So there you have my crease blended out and you can see how it looks diffused, it looks soft, and this pigment is still here because I didn't really touch here. I just blended the edges out around 
there. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just blend circular motions. I use small circular motions. I'm trying to keep my hand low because I don't want to be in the way of the camera, but when I blend, I tend to blend like from up here. Um, so I'm trying to just keep my hand out of the way. So there you have a good blending brush is essential. Now I'm going to go back in with my 221 again, and I'm going to use the color Sienna, which is right next to that burnt orange. And that is going to go into my outer V. I use this brush for crease and for outer eyeshadow application in this outer V area that you Mommy. see. Yes, honey. That one is a fly right tail. There's a fly right there? Okay. Okay, so I'm using this just for my outer eye area to deepen it up. And then I will use the 224 again to go in and soften that up, like so. And then once again with that 221, I'm gonna go into the Cypress Umber, which is that dark brown shade right here. And I'm gonna get that into my outer crease area as well to darken it up a little bit more. And with that 224, again, I'm going to go in and soften that up. Then I'm gonna go back to my E55, the flat shader brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Glistening, which is right here. And this is what I mean by packing on color. I'm going to take that Glistening on one side of that brush, and I'm going to start to pack on that shade right here on the inner corner of my eye, about one-third to half of a way in, just like that. And then you can carve out where you want that lid kind of placement to be. And the very last two brushes that I will talk to you about is my MAC 212, which is a flat line brush, a flat um, liner brush. Just looks like this. It's good for lining. If you want to line your eye with shadow or with liquid eyeliner, you could use it as a stamp for eyeliner. If you're doing a wing liner, you can use it underneath here to get in really close to the lash line as well as up top to get in really close. You can also place pigment if you grab it with the flat side and press and drag it. You can with the Cypress Umber shade right along there, not all the way into my lower lid, but about halfway in. and just make sure that it's connected to my shadow on the exterior out here since. So the MAC 219 is a pencil brush. This is a very important brush for placing pigment along the lash line down here, diffusing color, cleaning up mascara. After you put your mascara on and you get it all here, you can go in with this and just clean it up, wipe it away. You can get into your inner corner to place pigment if you want it real bright. You could highlight with it, and you can also get in here into the outer crease and really, really work on creating a crease. So if you're doing a cut crease look, this is a good brush to use with concealer to cut a crease. It's just a good brush to have for very detailed work. Look, I'm just going to use my MAC 219 to go in here and clean up mascara that has gone rogue on me here. I always get mascara when I put mascara on, it falls, it touches my lower lid. You can also use it to clean any mascara up that you have got on your upper lid as well. It works really nice for that. So that is my completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed that very, very much. All together, I would say these are my hands down five must have makeup brushes that I just have to have in order to do any eyeshadow look, whether it's smoky, a cut crease, a regular like, you know, graduated eyeshadow look, even a wash of color. You just use this to just pop on a wash of color. Um, glittery looks, you just pack the glitter on with the flat shader brush. So just definitely have a flat shader brush, mine is the Sigma E55, a crease brush, mine is the MAC 
221. A blending brush, mine is the MAC 224, which is my absolute favorite, although the Marc Jacobs blending brush is on my birthday list this month. Um, so there you have that. And then lastly, a flat liner brush, very important for tight work against the lash line. And lastly, a pencil brush. For me, it's just important to clean up underneath my lower lash line and also for eyeshadow placement around my eyes. So my absolute favorite brushes. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what else you would like to see as a part of my five must have series or uh, style videos that you would like to see in the future. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you so very much. You can always catch me on Instagram and my blog, thestylecron.com. Um, on Instagram, I am the thestylecron there and i'm also on facebook as the style cron as well so thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later bye, -bye.